What's up everyone, how's it going? This is Watch. Hope you guys are all doing well. So if you're looking for a new CPU for your gaming slash productivity machine and you have a budget about under $350, well, you're probably debating between whether to get the Intel 7700K or the new AMD Ryzen 7 1700. And here in this video, we're gonna determine which processor comes out on top, all things considered. Now, in terms of the uh, price range itself, the uh, 1700 retails for a little bit cheaper than the 7700K and most uh, retailers out there in the US. So you're looking at just under $330 versus $350 or somewhere around there for uh, the 7700K. So a little bit of a bargain there. Uh, in terms of actual architecture, both are based off of a 14 nanometer architecture. In terms of TDP, you have better efficiency on the AMD chip, 65 watts versus 91. And the big difference is going to be the cores and numbers of threads. So you're looking at eight core, 16 thread uh, capabilities on the AMD side versus four cores and eight threads on the 7700K. Now there is a difference between uh, the clock frequencies. The base clock on the 1700 is around three gigahertz and it can uh, turbo up to 3.7 gigahertz. And you're looking at about uh, 4.2 to 4.5 stock frequency uh, settings on the 7700K. Now in both cases, you can overclock the chips and most people can achieve 3.8 to 4 gigahertz overclock with the AMD chip versus you can go uh, definitely 5 gigahertz with uh, just using a standard cooler uh, with the Intel chip. So uh, definitely a lot more overclocking capabilities with the uh, Intel side, which is going to give you some incredible single threaded performance. Now in terms of cache, you're looking at uh, 16 megabytes of uh, L3 and about uh, 4 megabytes of L2 on the uh, 1700 and uh, the Intel has 8 megabytes of a level 3 cache cache. A maximum PCI Express lanes supported on the CPU itself. You're looking at 24 on the 1700 and about 16 lanes on the 7700K. Now moving right along and taking a look at the power consumption of uh, both uh, systems, you can take a look at the exact uh, specifications for both uh, AMD and Intel rigs. But at idle, you're looking at around 49 uh, watts uh, total power consumption on the 1700 uh, system versus the 7700K. K uh, consumes about uh, 48 watts. So very, very similar there in terms of idle power consumption. When it comes to uh, load power consumption using Prime 95, so basically the CPU is at 100% load. You're looking at about 123 watts versus 131 watts on the Intel side. So uh, at load uh, frequencies, uh, not a huge power consumption difference, but the Intel is consuming slightly more. Now, in terms of the thermal capacity, uh, looking at uh, the complete stock configuration, no overclock, and using the same cooler, we're getting around 28 degrees Celsius on both uh, chips when it comes to the idle temperatures. And when you load up uh, the CPU uh, just uh, quickly for about 30 seconds using uh, Cinebench R15, the peak temperatures on the 1700 hit about 45 degrees versus 48 degrees on the 7700K. Now, finally, let's get into the nitty gritty performance uh, benchmark results for the multi-core performance using Cinebench, you're looking at around 1403 uh, at stock frequencies. So uh, with the 1700, it's going to go up to uh, 3.7 gigahertz. And at uh, 4.5 gigahertz uh, using the 7700K, we get a uh, best score of about 1028. So a pretty big difference between the two. Uh, certainly uh, not uh, double the performance uh, since we do have double the cores and double the threads on on the AMD side, but still a pretty big uh, difference nonetheless. Now, in terms of uh, render times and productivity performance, I uh, rendered out a 40 second 4K files for web distribution, and the 7700K took about eight seconds a longer total time of about one minute 16 seconds to render out that file versus one minute eight seconds on the Ryzen 7 1700. So, a pretty big uh, difference over there. So, if you're going to be doing a little bit of rendering, video editing, uh, certainly the AMD has the edge up over here. Now there may be some software that you use that might not fully utilize all the cores and threads that the 1700 has to offer. Certainly uh, Geekbench over here is a good benchmark that demonstrates this results. Although we're getting faster multi-core performance, it's not really that dramatically faster than the 7700K. And certainly when it comes uh, to the single threaded performance, as we mentioned before, since those cores are going to be running at faster clock speeds, and certainly when you 
you overclock it, you are going to get faster single threaded performance. And that's why some games will probably favor the Intel platform at this stage of the game. Now, that being said, if you do have uh, games that will utilize more cores and more threads, you are going to get faster uh, gaming performance uh, coincide with your GPU performance. So uh, looking at 3D Mark Time Spy using our GTX 1080, we get a uh, slightly faster overall score, uh, just around 7,040 points versus 6822 on the 7700K. So the AMD is faster in this example. But if you start taking a look at uh, more conventional games in a more real world circumstance at 1080p Battlefield 1, we get higher average FPS scores on our Intel platform, uh, 133 frames per second versus 129 frames per second. Same thing with Rise of the Tomb Raider. Pretty huge difference actually over here. 126 average frames per second and 103 average frames per second on our 1700. Far Cry Primal, same thing over here. Faster uh, overall average frames per second using the Intel chip compared to the 1700. So if you do want a little bit extra frames per second, you probably want to consider the 7700K because it's still faster when it comes to the single threaded performance, which uh, still a lot of games will favor compared to more cores and more threads. So generally speaking, uh, both chips are quite fantastic. Technically speaking, uh, the 1700 uh, Ryzen 7 is probably the best bang for the dollar 8 core slash uh, CPU that's around the $350 mark or $330 mark in this case. So I would definitely... If it was up to me building a system, um, there's really no contest over here. Even though the single thread performance is a better on the 7700K for long-term use and uh, for the things that I do, I would probably uh, stick with the Ryzen 7. Now, if you do want a little bit more overclocking headroom, the 1700X is a great option. You're looking at 95 watts TDP and with a faster overall stock frequency of uh, 3.4 to 3.8 gigahertz. And you, most people, can go way beyond that uh, thanks to the extended XFR capabilities uh, that are built in. Now we also have a video about the 1800X and we do a specific comparison between that processor and uh, one of the most powerful Intel CPUs you can get, the 6900K. If you haven't seen that video, check that out. There'll be a card up on the screen right now for you to go to that. But other than that, thanks so much for watching. Thank you for your continuing support. Without you guys, all this stuff wouldn't be possible and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.